For over a decade, very strong gamma rays have been emitting from the center of our home galaxy. The Milky Way center is surely a chaotic place. It's our galactic downtown. Stars and gas scream around the central supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A star, which has a mass four million times that of the Sun, squished into a diameter just about 30 times the Sun. While it's normal to detect intense energy coming from the galactic center, it appears that during the last two decades, scientists have found more of this high energy light than they could account for, and scientists have given it a name the galactic center GEV excess. This intense radiation stretches about 5,000 light years in every direction around the Milky Way's core. Scientists first detected it in 2009 using the Fermi Large Area Telescope, but has remained a mystery ever since. Well, maybe until now. Initial proposals include the annihilation of dark matter particles, but that got ruled out, and then it was brought back again, but most didn't agree, and it's complicated. Let's just say there isn't enough evidence to back this up. Now, researchers from the Australian National University suggest a less murky explanation that includes a large population of rapidly spinning neutron stars called millisecond pulsars. Gamma rays have the most energy of any wave in the electromagnetic spectrum. This type of energy is usually produced by the hottest and most massive objects in the universe, such as neutron stars, supernova explosions, and black holes. That's why scientists are considering neutron stars, or more specifically millisecond pulsars, as the potential culprits. Pulsars are the remnants of extremely massive stars that died in supernova explosions. These objects are literally the cores of dead stars. They are tiny, but mighty. They are about 12 and a half miles, 20 kilometers in diameter, but pack nearly 1.5 times the mass of the whole sun. What's the difference between pulsars and millisecond pulsars? Millisecond pulsars spin faster than normal pulsars. The slowest known pulsars complete one spin per second, and these are known as slow pulsars. The fastest known pulsars can spin hundreds of times per second. We call these millisecond pulsars because their spin period is measured in milliseconds. As they spin, they emit pulses of electromagnetic radiation from their poles, hence the name pulsar. The current most accepted theory states that these millisecond pulsars have been spun up through the accretion of matter from a companion star in a close binary system. The research team modeled what they refer to as the integrated emission from around 100,000 millisecond pulsars. The model suggests that such a huge population could produce a signal similar to the galactic center GEV excess. And the same explanation could go with the Andromeda galaxy. The gamma ray signal from Andromeda may be due mostly to a huge number of millisecond pulsars. To run to this conclusion, the team used data from the Fermi Large Area Telescope. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.